This is the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. I'm sorry, no. This is the Advanced Energy RFX2 5500 watt RF power generator. It is powered by 208 three phase requiring a 50 amp service. It is also a water cooled unit requiring a minimum of four gallons per minute. This 13.56 megahertz unit has an output power of between 100 and 5500 watts. This particular model is intended to be used with a matching network. The matching network that's being used is the RF Plasma Products model 7621020040. This unit is powered by standard 120 volts AC with a maximum rating of 5000 watts. This unit is capable of operating in both manual and automatic modes to match the impedance of the unit to the load. It is also a water-cooled unit that requires approximately 1.78 gallons per minute. Now let's take a look at the connections in the back. The connections on the RF generator are as follows. Here's where we have our water line going in. Our flow gauge says four and a half gallons a minute, which is uh, acceptable. This is the return line for our water to our chiller. Here is our power connection. And here's the actual RF output plug underneath. Now this little cover is very important because it also acts as an interlock, a safety interlock. There are actually three interlocks. One here, one with inside this cable, and one with inside this cable. Next, the matching generator, of course, is also water-cooled. You might notice that all of the um, stickers are upside down. That's because this particular unit is intended to be on top of a uh, plasma chamber. Here is the RF input. And this, these two B and C lines are for reading both the phase and magnitude, which sends a signal back to our controller so it can match. The unit is presently not on, so I'll show you inside. It consists of two variable capacitors, one for the tuning of the unit, one for the load, and of course an inductance coil. Normally this is grounded to the top of the chamber and to make sure we don't have any stray uh, radio frequency interference, we do our best when we demo it to keep it closed up. This particular RF generator um, is a computer controlled device or is controlled by some means of a different uh, passive panel. For purposes of our de demonstration, we have a simulation box that will allow me to turn on the power to the RF generator internally and notice the RF light goes on. I can vary the input, output rather. Let's say we adjust it to one 1 kilohertz or 1 kilowatt. This shows the input reading uh, from 0 to 10 volts DC will produce from 100 to 5500 watts of output power. Now, this is the control for the matching network. If I switch to the display of reflected power. The reflected power is very low, which is uh, what we're trying to accomplish when we operate. Now, in manual, I will throw it completely out of phase.
and we now have a reflective power of uh, 620 watts, which is unacceptable. But when left in automatic mode, it brings it back down to the acceptable level. Let's try going up in wattage. I'm going to raise this up to uh, three kilowatts. Once again, I will throw it completely out of phase. Which is which is almost the hold on. there. That's a thousand watts, which is completely unacceptable. Once an automatic. And it's almost perfectly back in phase. Uh, what we try to achieve is the lowest reflected power level as possible. Um, normally our threshold is about 5% uh, at uh, 1,000. So this is more than acceptable for 3,000. Now I want to go up all the way to the maximum rated power for the matching unit, which is 5,000 watts. Okay, there's five kilowatts. We will throw it out of phase once again, radically. Now at 5 kilowatts, we have about 12 watts reflected, which is very, very good for that high power. We're at 1,000 watts. Also, it's important to mention that this particular unit has a circuit in it that will not allow the unit to go higher than 1,001, about uh, 1,010 kilowatts. Once again, if we put it in automatic, Perfect. Even at 5,000 watts, it corrects it. Uh, to make sure, we still use an old-style analog gate, uh, analog meter, watt meter, which is always a good second source and surprisingly very accurate.